here they owe us. We refer to the prototypical or the original. We're referring to products that were the first to define their particular category. The Apple Mac, this way back in 1984, you know that was just such a product, right? Of course. Well, today we went check for that it's a small monitor, it's a floppy drive, and it's 120 terabytes of memory. However, with its mouse, its graphical user interface, and it's clearly consumer oriented. You know what, guys? It broke the mold, right? Yeah, of course it did, sure. You know, it was the catalyst for a Aeolus robot. Aeolus robot, come on out and say hello to everyone and join us here on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the Aeolus robot. Hello, my friend. So the robot is the result of thousands of hours of development and is the very first multifunction household robot. Now this robot right here is the solution to taking back your personal time. I'm just show you how. So every week, your average person spends about 15 hours and everyday chores, and that's over 700 hours a year, and that's a lot, of course. And who wouldn't want to better spend that time with loved ones, maybe working on a hobby, or just enjoying the outdoors? So I'm going to show you guys some of the many ways in which they know this robot can help improve your daily life. All right, my friend, are we ready to go on this? Yes? Okay. Please go ahead and tidy up this one for me. So folks, if you think about it, the human optical lobe and visual cortex are an amazing piece of biological machinery that has evolved over thousands of years, and their ability to process and parse information is truly incredible. Well, to give you an example, if you're afraid of spiders and you walk into a large room with all kinds of objects and decorations on the walls, you're still almost instantly going to notice that tiny little eight-legged dot somewhere on that wall, right? Sure, we probably all would. Well, similarly, the Aeolus robot here utilizes advanced artificial intelligence as well as 2D and 3D cameras to recognize, classify, and categorize over 1,000 objects in a highly specific manner. And that's quite a bit, right? Yeah. And by the way, the robot's arm is capable of carrying light is much heavier than that small stuffed animal you see right there. In fact, it's capable of lifting over five and a half pounds. Ah, uh, nicely done, Miss Aeolus. All right, we're gonna make this a little bit more challenging to see what happens. So I'm gonna give you guys an example of why something as simple as a chair like this being in the way is important here. You know, currently in the United States, we're experiencing uh, an unprecedented growth in the elderly population. And for many like me, it's actually great news, of course, because my kids get to spend more time with their parents. However, as we all know, mobility can become somewhat challenging for some of the elderly and beyond the obvious obstacles, such as getting from point A to point B, other tasks like moving a chair like this can become truly cumbersome for some of these folks, if not impossible for some of them. So we at Aeolus Robotics see this type of work that the robot is doing right here as just the beginning. We envision a world in which Aeolus Robot would help you maybe stand up, answer the door, or hey, even put a piece in the oven. Alright, so back to what you're seeing right here. You see the lifter is down, she's preparing to tackle the task at hand. She is literally thinking. Figuring out her approach, if you want your face, you can see this. This gets right to the heart of our unique artificial intelligence. Aeolus robot can respond to a changing situation, which is great. She can solve the problem in a highly adaptive manner. Now, as you can see, she's her lifter to that perfect spot on that chair. She's carefully maneuvering herself right into position. And the robot's lifter uh, is actually capable of lifting almost 25 pounds right now, which is pretty good. Just imagine the future. It might very well be able to lift two or maybe even four times that weight. That's going to be an exciting time. Now you can see that it positions its arm over the top of the chair. <laughs> Excuse me, securing the chair in place for a safe movement to back across the The nail is a robot. She knows to put the chair back exactly where I like to keep it because I have a talker. Talk to right over there under the table. And personally, yeah. I think this is pretty amazing, right? Don't you guys? Yeah, it's pretty cool technology. Oh, thank you. <laughs> certainly knows how to get the job done, that's for sure. Okay, my friends. 
young child help you clean up around the house, maybe a spouse help you. So I say this lightly. Sometimes that help isn't all that helpful, right? You know, in my experience, when kids see the illness a lot, they often just want to hug it. You know what? Sometimes it's the total opposite. They want to tease this poor thing by interrupting her task at hand. Well, I promise you I am not going to tease you today, but you know what? If I did, she would be just fine with this because the Elvis robot is capable of tracking objects in real time. So if things move or are moved, she can adjust her plans to still accomplish all of her goals. The Elvis robot uses eight ultrasonic sensors in her base, uh, two are forward-facing sensors, and six are rear-facing sensors. Now, I mention this because I'm sure that some of you guys are wondering how it's actually able to back up safely without hitting anything or anyone. Now, as you guys can see, the robot, she put away the lifter just a moment ago, and she is preparing to continue with her task of tidying up the room that we requested of her earlier. And you can imagine in the future that the lifter you saw could actually be one of many configurations or attachments that will allow the robot to do even more tasks. So the robot is headed towards that remote, as you see. Uh, before it arrives, though, you guys saw that the robot, she looked around, she assessed the situation, and you know, it's doing more than figuring out the optimal way to pick up that remote. It's aware of its surroundings at all times. And to perform this task, it's using a combination of its LiDAR, its 2D, and 3D vision. All right, she's on her way. So we can see it's articulating arm. It's going back into action, so we're going to take that remote back to the table. You know, to me, it's precision and positioning itself is just right. It's really, really fascinating to watch. And the Ellis robot knows exactly where I want to place that remote. Right back over there on the table where I keep it. Not on the floor, not in the toy bed, and you can teach it just about anything. Uh, if you prefer the remote, let's say on your coffee table or near the TV, all you guys need to do is teach her. And the robot is able to gently place the remote on the table, which is another great feature, so it doesn't drop it. And once again, it uses its 3D camera to precisely map out the height and the entire terrain of the table. And it finds a perfect available spot as the remote's home on the table. In fact, while the robot knows that I want the remote to be placed on the table, you know, if the table had uh, other objects scattered all about where the remote usually stays, she's going to find another suitable spot nearby on that same table. And unlike many of the current consumer robots that perform specific tasks, the Ola's robot is more like the robots that I used to dream of. She's going to go change out. She'll be right back and show some more tasks. You know, those robots we all envisioned with your kids, they had the capability to learn on their own, right? They could even be taught the way humans were taught. And in my world, those robots were capable of performing numerous tasks and learning many more, just like Aeolus. So great job once again. We have another very, very exciting task she's about to do. Honestly, this is one of my favorites, so don't go too far, because this is probably going to be your favorite task to witness as well. So she's just going to go ahead and change out there. She'll be out in just a moment. So now in this next stage of cleaning, we are going to try something even more challenging. Let's see how it goes. So as many of you know, the first mass consumer adoption of robots came with what? What was it? It was vacuuming robots, right? And well, we at Aeolus Robotics feel that specialized robots are absolutely needed and will continue to grow in their capabilities. General purpose humanoid robots are what most people are going to need. So check this out. This is really cool. Aeolus Robot, please come on out to show everyone how you vacuum the floor. And here she goes. So as you can see, Aeolus is using a particular brand of vacuum. However, she could be using any type of vacuum. She could be using a mop or maybe even a swiffer. Bottom line here is uh, robots that emulate humans will be able to relieve people of burdens of daily tasks and daily chores, those that we just don't want to do. I'm great with that. 
So additionally, they're not going to need a complete upgrade on a regular basis either. Uh, they can utilize the existing products that we already have in our homes to complete many of the tasks that we ask of them. Now, another really cool thing about the Alice I want to share with you guys is that we intend to make her affordable. That's right, I said it, affordable, unlike research robots or industrial robots. This will truly be a consumer product. And we're able to achieve this by having designed the Aeolus robots for mass production from the very beginning by using the latest in automated manufacturing techniques. Now during this particular demo right here, we are not going to show you the robot cleaning this entire floor. It's not necessary, but we wanted you guys to see that she establishes and she follows a very efficient, very logical cleaning pattern by uh, even vacuuming underneath the table, which is awesome. So once again, mission accomplished. Another job well done by Aeolus. We're going to let her uh, finish up over there, and then we're going to switch modes, and we're going to show you one more really cool thing, so don't go too far. In the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about our company. So our company was founded in early 2016, not long ago, and it's truly a global company. And we have development teams in the United States, Taiwan, Poland, and Brazil. And the company's founders and management includes individuals who have held key roles at places like Marvel, Intel, IBM, uh, Microsoft, and Starbucks. Now, when designing the robot, this is interesting, we wanted to make sure that that out-of-the-box experience for you was easy. So, when Aeolus arrives, she automatically will scan your new home, your new environment. She's going to create spaces that you guys can then make. And when it arrives, as in your home or your office, she already knows numerous classifications of objects. And, of course, then she can easily be taught your specific object and your specific commands. And this is really cool. The robot can actually learn the difference between, say, a can of Pepsi, a can of Coke, or uh, even a can of Budweiser beer within seconds. And you can teach it the difference between your coffee cup, your partner's coffee cup, a smaller coffee cup, or even your child's favorite glass. Okay, so now, moving on now to our next scenario. This is interesting as well. We're gonna talk about improving your day, and hey, we wanna do that. She can also improve your day by helping you to relax. All right, here we go on this. All right, so you know, some nights after a long day at work, I like, you guys like to sit back and enjoy an ice cold drink, but you know what? I am just too tired to get up and get it. So, Miss Aeolus Watt, can you please bring me a cola over here? And there she goes, into action she goes once again. Now, while the robot preps for this task right here, I want you guys to take a look at this monitor right behind me over here. Now, this is exactly what Aeolus sees right up over here and its relative location within your house or your particular room. And as you guys can see right here, she's now recognizing that can of cola over there. The room, the table, she's thinking about the best way to pick it up and the safest path to deliver it over to me by the sofa. Now another really cool feature they have right down over here, love this, this is messaging. And uh, over here on the bottom right hand side of the screen, you can see that we are also able to message and have a conversation remotely. So I am just going to go ahead and say hello to her so you guys can see how that works. All right. So just imagine asking the homeless robot to maybe check up on your dog or your cat or, hey, asking uh, her to see what the kids might want for dinner. So infinite possibilities here, right? Yes, you got to love that. The future, my friends, it's right here. And you know what? That was my drink. Wow, right? Well, thank you so much for the drink, my very special friend to Aeolus. You are about to change the world as we know it. So, cheers to you. And folks, cheers to all of you for joining us. Thank you so much. I'm Cindy. getting a special wink over here. That was for you. Are you ready to take a break now?
You're done cleaning for a few minutes. Thank you so much. Thanks, you guys. Any of the folks in the white Aeolus shirts with the white long sleeves, they can uh, answer any specific questions that you guys might have. We also have some materials and literature over there, so come on forward, grab some of that.